Hey everybody, welcome to the channel, 1111 Butterfly Effect. Thank you all for joining my Divine Spirit and I here at the table. Uh, it's been a long minute, it's time to check in with Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine, right? Yeah, it's been uh, several uploads, so long overdue, we're going to get right to it and see what's going on midweek between the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. You twin flames out there, you soulmates, traveling down your yellow brick road, navigating through your twin flame journey, this message is for you and the person you're thinking of. So we're going to um, start out and ask uh, my Divine Spirit and the Quantum Oracle for a one card major one card overall focus and energy for what's going on uh, within the divine feminine and the divine masculine between you and the person you're thinking of between the divine feminines and the divine masculines on a collective level so we're going to ask my divine spirit and the quantum oracle to please Join us here at the table and offer us a, first, offer us a one-card pull for an overall energy and status, so to speak, okay? And uh, I hope everybody's doing well. Happy October. Uh, it's almost middle of the week. Been busy been trying to uh, stay busy and stay focused and I think that's the best medicine for everybody to you know get out of your head if you're there to you know get back on track and get back into you know it all still starts with self-care you know self-love start there and move forward and uh, maybe that's a little bit of what this message is going to be about um, for October 2020 in our harvest month to move forward fearlessly right and prepare for our harvest yes and prepare for Halloween right yes we got some pumpkins we're contemplating decorating the outside for Halloween which I've done every year the kids at the complex love it. I get into the holidays and decorate. And, you know, I'm in charge of the e Easter egg hunt. Fourth annual Easter egg hunt was this past year. So, uh, you know, distractions are nice. Distractions are good medicine. Uh, you know, putting your focus on something else that's important to you. While you navigate this journey is so very helpful, uh, you just can't imagine that how really easy it is to start moving forward and letting the flow go after you let go, let go of control. Yeah. So thank you, Divine Spirit. Thank you, Quantum Oracle. Please join us at the table and offer us up an overall focus and energy. For this Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine check-in. Yeah, it's been a long minute. So let's see what's going on between y'all, huh? Split the deck. And ask for one card. Let's see what the overall energy and focus is. Ha ha ha! Planning and action. Yeah. Planning and action. Someone's making plans to take action. We have a compass there, a watch, a map, a pencil, all leading to what looks like a castle back there, which is very well lit up. Right? Planning and action. And just to let you know, it's at the bottom of this deck. New beginnings. 
Hmm? Yep. Another well-lit path towards new beginnings. Planning and action. And let's see what the oracles have to say about this planning and action. And it is energy. Okay? Number two, energy card. Right? And definitely, you know, when you're focused and when you're making plans and you're focused on your intention and your heart's desire, it kind of makes things happen. Kind of almost stops time for you so that you can, you and divine can create this happening to manifest it, as they say. Right? Oh, planning and action. Movement is definitely, you know, a focus here. Movement, planning and action. That's movement. Okay? Get ready to go. A watch, compass, and pencil lie on a street map that shows a castle in the distance. It's clear that someone is planning a trip or even preparing to run a race. Although your challenge now might not be a literal race, this card is telling you to get ready for some major planning and action in your life. It may even indicate a trip or a move. Wow, this is the time of acceleration for you. To take advantage of this energy, make your goal a priority now. Whatever it is your intention is, that's your priority. If you need to strategize and make specific plans, be sure to get going on those preparations soon. Then follow up those plans with focused, regular action in that direction of your desire. When you're engaged in this type of devotion, the universe takes you seriously and responds. Exactly. You want to, you know, be in this position with divine's help, divine timings help. See the clock? You know, now is the time to take advantage and plan to act. Right? So, overall focus and energy. Planning and action. That's what we're looking at. So we'll see what the main message comes out as as we check in with divine fem feminines and divine masculines to see what's happening, what's been going on, what action may be coming up, and the outcome it leads to. So get ready and go. Are you ready to go right now? Yeah, I'm ready to go right now. Johnny Legend, yeah. Give me the green light. Give me the green light. So, we're going to receive the main check-in message Oops, from the Energy Oracle. Both these decks, the Oracle, the... Quantum Oracle deck and the Energy deck are both Sandra and Taylor decks. We love the way these two decks work together. So that's where we're going to receive our main message from. And we'll receive some clarity and confirmation from one of my two decks, which are testing out at about 98.9, 99.8% in accuracy and clarity and confirmation. And we'll receive some final words and uh, wisdom from the romance angels yes we'll check in in the romance department so thank you my divine spirit thank you energy oracle please join us at the table and offer us up some guidance and direction for what's going on between divine feminine and divine masculine what's happening between you and the person you're thinking of 
what is it they're doing? What is it that you're doing? We'll see what the cards unfold and who ends up on the table. Can only hope that both Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, both of you, you twin flames, you soulmates, divine beings out there following your yellow brick road, you know, I hope at the very least that this offers you up the green light to make those plans to take action and move forward towards your heart's desire because that's what planning and action is about. Why make all the plans if you're not going to follow through and take action, right? A few more shuffles just to get the cards warmed up. Thank you, Divine Spirit. Thank you, Energy Oracle. Please join us at the table and offers up the Divine Guidance and Direction for the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine following their Divine Path. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, one card just fell on the ground. Adjacent possibilities dropped on the ground. Yeah. We're going to set it right there. 24. That breaks down to a what? Six. That's all about love. We're going to cut the deck now and see what rolls out on the top. We're not going to toss any cards today. We're just going to pull cards. Six Chakra, Archangel Metatron. Yeah. Six Chakra, that's all about the third eye. And 40 breaks down to a four, which is twin flame number. The world. Challenge or action is the world. You got the whole world in your hands. You got the whole wide world in your hands. Strategy. Yes, planning and action is all about strategy. 21 breaks down to a three. Good number, okay? Trifecta, triple A series, right? Three, it's all about communication, creativity, joy, strategy. What's at the bottom of this deck is woman holding a coin. 42 breaks down to a six, so we have another six here. Interesting. Very interesting. So, the woman holding the coin, being that that's a six, lines up with this six over here. The woman holding the coin has lots of possibilities. But you know what? She looks like she's patiently awaiting some thing or someone's arrival. You know, she's got that coin in her hand. She's showing it off, but she's not holding it tight. She's not coveting it you know she's not hiding it she's showing it off and you know her her trusty kitty cat is right there by her side approving with this with their own little violet uh, royal color little sachet collar right see all that Red and violet colors, those are royal colors. Yes. Empress, queen, definitely. And, you know, what's right above that is the world. So, the queen, the woman holding the coin, is the world to somebody... Mm-hmm. Behind that is Journey. Door to Romance. Temple Path. Yeah, we won't go too far into that. 
really. In fact, we're going to stop it at this door to romance. So that's what Divine says. This message is about forward movement towards someone's heart's desire. Using their intuition and their divine connection, spirit connection, they are planning to take and taking action, realizing that they got the whole world in their hands. So they're going to strategize to move toward, forward to that world, right? Sitting on top of the world. Well, you got the whole world in your hands, really. That's the layout right there. So, let's see what kind of confirmation we can get from this. Spirit communication. Someone's having a, an awakening. Their third eye is opening up. They're realizing they got the whole world in their hands. So, they're going to move. They're going to get out of this dark spot right there and start strategizing and planning to take action towards their heart's desire. Right? That's what it looks like right here. Alright, let's get some clarity and confirmation. Thank you, Divine Spirit. Thank you, Twin Flame Connection. Oracle, please join us there at the table. And offers up some clarity and confirmation for this Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine check-in. To see what's going on. What the energy is. Where the, where the focus is. What's the movement. What's the action. What's happening, in other words, right? Yeah, well, it looks like some major movement is about to take place. Planning and action is happening. You know, whether they're in the planning stage right now and about to take action, still strategizing, making their plans to move forward. So let's see if we can get confirmation and clarity about the forward movement and towards what? Who is moving towards what? That's the question. That's the big question of the moment. Who is moving toward toward what? That's that word. Forward and toward. Those are just tongue twisters for me. Alright. A little air shuffle and box shuffle. Then we're going to split the cards. So far, so good. I mean, there's definitely forward movement here. Planning and strategizing is going on. So stay focused. Stay hopeful. Don't get in your head and work yourself all up and get butt hurt. If you're trying to communicate or if you're hoping somebody wants to, is going to communicate to you, just stay focused. As they say, keep your eyes on the prize. Continue moving forward, making your plans, doing your work, right? Yes. And then things will just unfold because that's how it happens. Self-worth. Yeah, we talked about self-care. It all starts with self-care and self-love and what... We have a 29 there. That breaks down to 11. So there's Master Messenger there. The Master Message is it all starts with self. Self-love and self-worth. Okay? Know who you are. That you are a Master Manifester. You are the High Priest or High Priestess. You are the Emperor or the Empress. Okay? You have the whole world in your hands. You're worth it. And that's the message. 
So if you're feeling stuck, the action is to get unstuck. The planning and action is to get unstuck. Unstuck out of this dark place, out of the darkness and into the light. Okay, there's light there, right? An eight, 35 breaks down to an eight, okay? An eight is what? Eight is about manifestation, abundance, leadership and career, but manifest manifestation and abundance. So you want you got the whole world in your hands. You need to get unstuck, huh? And you can. You have the ability to make plans, strategize, and take action. Okay? That's how you're going to get unstuck. And reap your abundance that awaits you. Leading to commitment. Yeah, and that's 11. We don't break that down. It is master number, period. Hmm? Leading towards commitment. You love yourself and know your worth. Okay? You will plan and take action and get unstuck and move towards your heart's desire, your commitment in whatever shape or form with the woman holding your, uh, her coin, a coin. So, in regards to this, Divine Masculine is real, realizing your self-worth, your Divine Masculine, if you're listening, you're realizing your self-worth. It's the person you're thinking of. They are realizing their self-worth and this divine plan. And they are planning and strategizing and taking action to get themselves unstuck and move towards their commitment with their divine partner. And that's the message. We have two confirmations that it's a divine message. Actually, we have three because we have two 29s and one 11. And that's three 11s on the table and we have a 33 which is another master number that's a master that's the parent cosmic parent number okay 33 <clears throat> and that's all about communication 33 okay because three is about communication 33 is double reinforcement that communication is coming in a journey plans are being made to take this journey, okay, towards romance. So, Divine Feminine, for those of you listening, Divine's messages, and we have three eleven. so three, triple confirmation, Divine Message Confirmation, okay, that this is real, that Make your plans to take action and get yourself unstuck because there's all kinds of abundance and great stuff waiting, just waiting for you, including more healing. And 31 breaks down to 4, which is another twin flame number. We have 4 here, 4 here. Two fours on the table, three 11s, two 29s, a 33. Two sixes, okay? That's a lot of number confirmation there. Definitely. Most definitely. So let's get some final confirmation from the Romance Angels. To get to confirm this movement from of the Divine Masculine, of your Divine Partner, that's now feeling their self-worth, their self-love, that they are worthy to be loved and to love. And they are making plans to take action and strategizing to get themselves unstuck. Number eight, right? To manifest themselves unstuck. Move towards their heart's desire, which is commitment. And bring a message of commitment to the woman holding the coin. Definitely planning and action and the strategy confirms each other that the main focus and energy 
is definitely confirming the message and vice versa. The message is confirming the main focus and energy. Thank you, Divine Spirit. Thank you, Romance Angels. Please offer us up some final confirmation and clarity for this check-in message between the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine. It's been a long minute since we've really did a thorough check-in to see what's going on between you and the person you're thinking of. And it looks like some of you are going to be getting a message. It looks like some of you, your divine partner is moving forward and getting themselves unstuck. It looks like some of you, of those of you that are listening, are getting themselves unstuck and moving forward towards your heart's desire, letting go of that which no longer serves you, crossing bridges, to get to where you need to go, where your divine abundance is in that castle. Which is where I'm sure this woman holding a coin is awaiting your arrival. Or if you're the woman holding the coin, that you're making sure the place is clean and tidy and there's lots of uh, seltzer water <laughs> ready to go, right? <laughs> You're dotting your I's, crossing your T's. You're doing your work. You're continuing to heal and move forward in mission. You're continuing to do you. Thank you, my divine spirit. Thank you, romance angels. Please offer us up some final words of wisdom and clarity. Trust for this divine masculine, divine feminine check-in. Retreat. I've always said, you know... Communication needs to take place for any kind of major movement to take place. So if there is absolutely no communication between the two of you, someone needs to break the ice and communicate. Even if you get no response, don't let it hurt your feelings. It's all about unconditional love and no expectations, no letdowns. Send love. <clears throat> That's all your divine being needs right now, is your love. There we go. <coughs> and there's chemistry here. <coughs> Excuse me. So, trust. And maybe, once communication does take place, you can be alone together and take a retreat and enjoy the chemistry that there is. Emotionally, physically, and always. So trust, definitely. And make the effort. And it all starts where? With yourself. So if you, Divine Feminine, are feeling good and confident and moving forward in your mission... That is exactly what your twin flame will do. If you are stuck in doubt or in your head, thinking the worst, not doing your work, not healing what needs to be healed for forward movement to take place, you need to make that effort. And if all the work is done at this moment in time, until you have union, then... Prepare. Plan to take action. I'm, I'm compiling a new deck, and it's going to be a one-word affirmation deck. And uh, it's going to be ab about overall energy. So we're going to send this message out there to you and your divine partner, and we're going to bless it with one of these cards and send it out there for it to happen to help make it happen okay send this extra about it energy for this check-in message for you and the person you're thinking of to make sure that the excitement stays that mo continue movement continues okay that planning and action takes place because the possibilities are there okay make the effort and 
things will happen. They will unfold right before your eyes. I am proof of that, and you will too have the proof if you follow the divine plan. Okay? The situation is calling you for, to have faith and trust, right? So, one card, please. Tell us. All right, yes. There we go. Be kind. Okay? When communication does come in, when you receive this message about commitment and getting together, communicating, making the effort, be kind. Don't stomp on anybody's feelings just because your feelings were stomped on. Be kind. So, that's it. Thank you all for joining me for this, and my Divine Spirit and I, for this Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine check-in. Because we do need to check in once in a while. Check in on the energy and the direction. Till next time, if you like what you've seen here, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget, take that challenge, lemons versus lemonade challenge. And also, scroll down a little bit on the post and you'll find everything you need to know about our Harvest Moon October gift box giveaway. So check those out. And you can't win unless you enter. You can't get a chance to win unless you enter. There you go. Till next time, take great care. Bye-bye.